and weekly, and before that, and so I'm talking about long, long ago, I worked for Construction News. And when I was quite new at Construction News, and I knew nothing about architecture, and frankly very little about construction, I was invited out to lunch by a very friendly and competent PR. And over lunch, she explained to me about the work of the practice that employed her, which was not just an architect's practice, but even more complex, it was a multidisciplinary practice. And I understood what she was talking about. And after that lunch, she became a part of my professional life, and I'm sure also of most of yours. And she was a person who, whatever's going on behind the scenes, has always seemed calm and unflappable and capable. And she's now heading towards retirement, and in a moment, but not yet, I'm going to be asking, as I'm sure you've all realised, we're going to be asking Sherry Besford of BDP to come up here to receive an utterly deserved Lifetime Achievement Award. But before she does that, I'd like to share with you what a few other people have said. First of all, Paul Finch, who's sitting next to her. And he said to me, the cool and sophisticated voice of... Sherry has been the cool and sophisticated voice of BDP for as long as anyone can remember, supporting an ethos as well as a practice and demonstrating the benefits of long-term, deep-rooted engagement with the world of architecture, property and construction. And then I spoke to Sutherland Lyle, who's a very respected uh, freelance architectural journalist and once was the editor of BD. And he said, the special thing about Sherry is that, apart from being a terrific person, she knows instinctively what hats want, and just as importantly, don't want to know. I've known Sherry for all of her time at BDP, and she's been an absolute rock. She doesn't take bullshit, but doesn't give it out either. The best thing about her is that quickly suppressed smile when we start taking ourselves and our antics too seriously. So I was pretty pleased with what I've got with those two. Then I hit gold, because I talked to Sutherland's wife, Rosie, and she said, I worked for Greville Griffiths at BDP before Sherry, so I interviewed her for the job with Greville. Greville was rather taken by a matronly lady, but I persuaded him that Sherry was the right person. I could tell by her twinkly eyes and sense of humour that she'd get Greville and fit in well at BDP. So she certainly did fit in, and for longer, I'm sure, than she could have imagined. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Sherry Besford.